All right, so we'll continue to talk about um, all the members of the mycoplasma family. Now, the next one we should be talking about is what is known as a urea plasma urea lithicum. Urea plasma urea lithicum. Yes, so for this one, you can basically see the image here. All right no cell wall you can just see a lot of the characteristics although we are going to actually talk about them so the urea plasma urea lithicum um we said it's actually a tiny cell wall less that means there's no cell wall on the bacterium so it belongs to the what mycoplasmatic family all right so it commonly inhabits the urogenital tract of healthy individuals but can become problematic they don't sound like it's a normal flora again but later on now uh, you develop issues with it all right so many things could make you develop issues all right including let me say um how do i put it your immunosuppressed you understand so key characteristics is there's no cell wall so like other mycoplasmas it's naturally resistant to what antibiotics like penicillins why because penicillins need the the bacteria to actually have a cell wall before they act so they are part of the normal flora so they are often found in sexually active individuals without causing symptoms so transmission is just through sexual contact but also can be transmitted from mother to child you get so this is a more clear picture of it all right so when does it cause trouble so it's usually harmless but it can lead to infection this is when it is overgrowing or your immune system is not able to checkmate it you understand so it can cause conditions like what inflammation of the urethra that's urethritis bacterial vaginosis prostatitis it can cause infertility both men and women pregnancy complications like preterm birth or low birth weight and all of that so <laughs> Various ways of diagnosing these guys could include the NART, that's a nucleic acid amplification test. It's like the golden standard. Now, culture is possible but slow, slowly growing or right, less sensitive. So, treatment is what? Dosicycline, azithromycin, commonly used. Moziflows are same, may be needed for resistant strains. Um, also treat your partner because you know it's sexually transmitted you can't be treating only yourself and feel like okay you can treat yourself and still have the problem later all right 